Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, set your media cache for faster computing. All right, trying to manage memory, especially now with things like 4K, um, it's very important that you make sure that this one setting among many other settings, this one is set correctly. By default, it's set to your C drive on Windows or your Macintosh HD on the Mac, which is the worst place because those are normally the drives that are working hard. They're the drive that have your operating system, probably your applications, and hopefully you do not have your your media on there. Your media should be in another location and if you're lucky enough to have uh, another drive you can use that for your Adobe Media Cache and it can be as something as simple as a USB 3 drive. In fact I've got one here you know something like this was like $18 for the case and you just slap in an off-the-shelf drive in it and even USB 3 is fine. Of course, Thunderbolt, if you happen to have that, even faster. Or on a desktop computer, designate another drive. Just stick in a, an SSD. So where are those settings? Let's go have a look. The preferences in Premiere Pro are in the Edit menu, Preferences. And on the Mac, they're in the Premiere Pro menu. Choose Media. And you can see that I've got my F drive. Now I'm using an HP ZBook here that actually has two separate drives in it. So my stuff is not on the default, which again would be on the C drive here. So it's in my F drive. And then there's the Media Cache database. You can put it there, but I'm just leaving it in the default. These are not big files. This is very important. So let's go have a look at where that is. This is my demo drive and in the cache are all the different Adobe applications that keep the cache. And if I mouse over here, you can see this uh, media cache files 15 gigabytes and uh, this one is 19 gigabytes. So how do you clean them up? Well, you know what? You can just throw all of this away. These are not project files. This is not going to harm you where you're going to lose something. It just might have to recalculate a preview or uh, some other type of thing that, it, it, that Premiere Pro saved. Um, okay, so once you have that set, you click OK and you're done. It's a sticky setting. Only if you reset your settings, reset your prefs, will you have to go and change that. Of course, you have a different computer. You're going to have to change that on each one. After Effects also has the media cache and it has something um, also that's very important. So here I am in After Effects and in the same place, the Edit menu on Windows, the After Effects menu on uh, the Mac, Preferences, you'll notice it says Media and Disk Cache. So in here, I'll open this up and I've enabled my disk cache. If you enable disk cache and you don't have a fast drive or dedicated drive, then After Effects will actually be slower. Only turn on the disk cache in After Effects if you have enough uh, really powerful fast drives going around. Again, for me, I'm using the drive that's on this, this uh, computer as a second internal drive. But this makes a huge difference. What the disk cache will do is it will start to write files um, where you're running out of memory. So it's writing the disk cache information. The next time uh, After Effects needs to render that file, it actually checks to see if that project is the same, if that, if that timeline hasn't changed, if the layer hasn't changed, then it reads that information from the disk way faster than having to recalculate it. The disk cache actually works on a layer by layer by layer basis. It's remarkable. Down below that, you can see there's the, the same uh, folder. In fact, this one is in the cache folder that's, that's there. And you can see I can simply click in here and empty that disk cache if I want. And it tells me for improved performance, choose a disk cache folder on the fast hard drive or SSD separate from your footage and allocate as much uh, room as possible. Now over here, I've got 20 gigabytes here. This is not a, a machine that I do a lot of production on, but on my desktop machine, I actually have a separate 256 gig SSD drive sitting there only for the cache. And I fill that sucker right up. Down below that, there's the same database. And there's the cache. So this is similar to the cache that you just saw in Premiere Pro. And I can click in here and clean that uh, cache uh, if I want. So the default settings 
are the worst settings in, in uh, both After Effects and Premiere Pro. So make sure you go in and change those and it's pointing to the fastest disk you have. I guarantee you'll see a performance boost. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, in the description is a special link for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.